Well, yeah. I often wondered. I asked. I've asked a couple. I got to, I've, uh, I've asked Sugar Ray Robinson, and I've asked Rocky Graziano how a karate guy would fare with a big boxer. He'd win. And mm, I don't know. They're all. I know. Awfully fast hands, man. <laughs> no, but they wouldn't. Fight. By the time a karate guy goes like that, no, but they wouldn't he's fight. on his back. They wouldn't fight. They wouldn't fight. Karate is mental, also. Yeah, but what if something occurred and they then they lose? The boxer would lose. Sure. We'll ask Muhammad about that. I'm telling you the truth. I, really. Well, we'll ask him. When well, he, can, he doesn't know. He's not, he's in the, he's not into karate. No. <laughs> How would he know? <laughs> well, we'll ask him. Okay. You want to introduce well, him? Yeah. You guys are very tight. He'd right? introduce him or whoop him away if you want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and introduce him, Spy. Just anything okay. you want to say about him. Say something. I love like. Muhammad Ali. Yeah. 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 Happy again today, I can tell. Why do you, I've seen you, I've, I've seen you never walk out with a, with a nice smile. You always, you well, look I don't like you're like troubled it. when you, you walk out. Because I am troubled. We have so many problems in the world, and these shows are not getting on yourself. Just leave you out, but in general, these shows are so phony. Yeah. Everybody's laughing. That's right. Kee, kee, kee. That's right. Everything is a laugh here in America. That's ain't right. Nobody's serious. People yeah. hungry. But it ain't my are all kind of trouble. And ki 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 ki. That's right. And That's the right. black entertainers. That's right. Ki 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 ki. That's right. You and too. Black entertainers. Ki 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 ki. That's right. Is there an echo in here? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, sometimes, you know, I think we should use this uh, stuff. We ain't planning on going to church now. To uh, now. to uh, to uh, get a. Church. Uh, tension for things where you know I okay. played a lot and I clowned a lot and okay, you sometimes you got I, a platform. I'm, no, I'm, in, I'm just just saying this is why I'm not always. I get tired of Negroes doing all this. They play to for audiences. Hey, guys, man, see TV. Hey, everything is so good. He makes a little money. I make a little money. But his brothers and uncles of mine are catching hell and hungry, and we on TV. Yeah. Like everything is so rosy, and I can't go off. Yeah, I'm guilty. Yeah, There's Muhammad. too many wise people. Muhammad. I'm talking now, man. Okay. The only thing we can do for brothers is to do what we're doing, be examples, and to be hee-hee-hee happy, and to be intelligent like you are and like you always say. Thank you. Mm. How do you feel about that? I, yeah. I, yeah. In the, in the this, I went to the television, the debate with the brother on television, you know, or you can clown with him on television, but behind the doors, we can have a good time, but not with all the people watching. Yeah, we can, now, yeah, now we can. Now, wait a minute, now wait. If that's we not, we'd be phony. Now, wait a minute, that's not being honest, what you just that's, said. That's what I'm saying, we'd Found be phony. behind doors. We'd be phony if we didn't I, do the I same thing. I'd hear clown. I'd hear with the... No, no, you just said clown. I said, had clown around. Hey, don't you agree with me? Yeah, we're going to clown around. If you don't like it, I'm going to whoop you. How would you, how, sir, getting serious for a moment, we were talking about the karate thing, and I've asked many no, fighters, no, 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 no. how would a, a top-notch boxer like yourself manage with a guy who knows they no fight. Karate? I think, uh, I mean, if they did, if a they boxer, wouldn't fight. A, Not well, Muhammad. Well, well, let him. I told him his face. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Always remember that. <laughs> <laughs> they would not fight. I'm well, telling you the truth. A, a good, a Muhammad. And a good karate man would not fight. Well, him. if let him uh, let him answer his slide. Just for right. what, 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 how would how would See, it, how would you manage? manage? White man doing that to me. <laughs> but I'm your co-host. <laughs> yeah. Half the action's mine. <laughs> now, how would they? How would they fare? I uh, uh, mentioned the co-host on Change the Subject. I've, you know, I've been off of this show the co-host Johnny Carson, Dick Cavett. Right. And the shows is just so much laughing involved until I never will be a co-host until I can. Uh, have who I want on the show, talk about what we want to but talk about. But I told about. you you could do that. Oh, uh, it won't be a show. Hold it now. Let me say it. Okay. Um, but don't say this. Um, the question. What was the question? So, I mean, top, you, you can not, have uh, who you want on the show. Actually. I had who I wanted to show you. A uh, top-notch uh, fighter. Fighter and a karate man. The fighter wouldn't stand a chance. 
because there's only one or two things he can do is ball his fist up and throw a jet with the karate man. It's jumping and kicking and nah. falling down. Nah. It's, nah. it's too much. It's too Put your much. arm up. You clowning, you clowning now. Put your arm I can clown on television. I clown backstage. <laughs> <laughs> Champ. That's right. That's the right. people's champ. That's right. right. That's right. I'm not here to clown. Mohammed, <laughs> from, from time to time we've talked about your, your, your training camp. Can, can the public attend while, when you're training? Yes, we have training sessions every day. Uh, two o'clock we're training from uh, 2 to uh, um, 3 30 in Deer Lake, Pennsylvania, about 20 miles out of Reading, Highway 61 North. And we have log cabins and gymnasium and kitchen, and we see about 250 people a day, and it's real antique. We have big 50-ton rocks lined all in the driveway with the names of all the great fighters. I like to announce not only is Kid Gavilon with me now, but Johnny Bratton. Oh, he's was a great welder way. He's oh. had a lot of hard luck. And yes, he's he doing nothing, so I have a place for them all to live and plenty of food and, and plenty of money, so I'm sharing it with all the brothers. Yeah, that's great. Can we go up? I asked you this once, and I, I think you thought I was clowning. Can we go up and film some? Dick Cavett beat you to it. He did? He came up, but it wasn't, it's was just a little thing. I think you can outdo him if you Yeah, he's very him. small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd like to do it. We really Anytime. Would. We're starting training tomorrow, and I'll be up there until we September 24th, you, you fight, huh? To take this title back. It's going to be a major, major He's shock. How long will you be preparing for this fight now? Three and one half months. And you work hard every every day? No. About five days a week, not I, every day. Every day is too hard. It's too much. I think Rama's good all the time. I think he's been training since he was born. You know, his head. Mm -hmm. His head is on right. You think you're going to, you really think you're going to win that title back, Rama? Mm, I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> Get out, bro. You know, I want to ask you something. You don't have, at least you haven't shown signs of having what they, they used to call in the fight game the killer instinct when, when you hurt a man, finish him off. I've seen you hurt guys and back off, which shows a lot of compassion on your part. But the guy you're fighting has that killer instinct. That's right, and I've been criticized greatly by people who I really respect for not going on and getting them. And I'm finished now. Next time, I'll finish him off. And is, and is your word still hold? That win or lose, that's it? That's your last fight? Ain't no lose. Yeah, no, but he said win or lose. Ain't he no said lose. Himself. Ain't I no know lose. that, but he said himself. Ain't so. no lose. I don't care. Okay. But, uh, we, expect, <laughs> uh, we expect a good fight. Shouldn't be no trouble. <laughs> George is awful strong. Yes, he is. And he don't really hit that hard. It may come as a shock to most people because... Uh, he knocked Joe Frazier down six times. But he didn't stay down. No, and he knocked Joe K. Roman down three times. He knocked Norton down three times, and they all ended on the feet. They don't know how hard you hit, man. But they were too, they weren't, uh, they weren't experienced enough to uh, recuperate, and they didn't have the footwork nor the speed. They don't know how hard Muhammad hit. Nobody. Honest goodness. Well, you knocked, you knocked a lot of people out, didn't you? Mohammed hit so hard, it's ridiculous. I'm telling you the truth. I know. I know. Did he, has he hit he you? He hard. He hit. I tell you what, I had a pea coat on. I went to his house, I had a pea coat on. He hit every button on my pea coat without hitting me. You mean just... I mean, I'm talking about speed, buddy. Speed. I'm speed. I'm really... I'm talking about speed. Really. If I don't speed out of here for one of those things, we're not coming back. We'll be right back. Right after no, I would advise no young fellow to fight. I would advise him to get educated real good, learn his arithmetic, read, write, get a trade, get a purpose. Because this, this is a gamble. This is a gamble. That's yeah, that's good. Sure. That's good. That's really, uh, and uh, Miriam, she's uh, six. Muhammad Ali is two. Your son is two? It's really something to watch him grow and getting big and... Uh, my little daughter, Miriam, I had her uh, out not long ago, about a couple of years ago before she started talking. One or two words they'll say, and one day you wake up, she, she'll say something like, you know, ask you a question. I had a friend with me, and she was sleeping. I said, we had a suite in a hotel in New York, and a lawyer friend came up, and I said, uh, I want some peace. I told her to go to bed. She said she was asleep. She kept faking, but she wasn't asleep. 
I laid down with her, and I thought she was asleep. And a friend came and was out in the front of the suite, and I tipped her out, and she woke up, Daddy, where are you going? First time she's ever, you know, thinking. I said, I'm going to the bathroom. No, the bathroom's in here. <laughs> oh, that, uh, and, and I said, no, and then I went out, and I closed the door, and she ain't no bathroom out here. <laughs> That's the first time she, you know, Did you put things really together? talking back with me. Does she know her daddy's a celebrity? Yeah. Has she, she ever watches, seen you in action? A, we have a commercial on TV now, but I didn't know oh, that. What? Yeah, I thing. see that. She sees that in, in magazines, and uh, she hears people talking. Did she, uh, did she, didn't she go with you to a college one time when you spoke before a group? Right, so I forgot the name of it. But she what was her reaction to that? Well, she was frightened to see all the people hollering like they did, but it must be a funny thing born into this, you know, like that's all she knows is... What do you mean hollering, they're asking questions? People, of yeah, you know, but like that's all she knows is crowds and people at her little age of six, and you know, I, I came into this after the Olympics, but there must really be something, you know, born into something like this. Your son, who you said is two, you want him to fight? No. No, I would advise no young fellow to fight. I would advise him to get educated real good, learn his arithmetic, read, write, get a trade, get a purpose. Because this, this is a gamble. This is a gamble. That's yeah, that's good. Sure. That's good. That's very good advice. Thank you. Hold it right there. I'm very sorry to interrupt this program, of all programs, but unfortunately we are all out of time here on the VH1 archives. But as you can see, Sly and Ali, they are just getting started and things get a lot hotter in part two. So here's my advice to you, cancel your camping trip or tear up your theater tickets or fire your babysitter, whatever you gotta do, be sure you're here next time for the conclusion of the Mike Douglas Sly Stone interview with Muhammad Ali. It just gets more intense. I'm John Fugel saying I will see you next time. And if you remember, uh, you know, bring some smelling salts, huh? Hey, sports fans, get ready for your dream program. I'm talking about the champ. I'm talking about the greatest. I'm talking about Jewel. I'm talking about Janice. I'm still talking, and there's nothing left to say got the message. We are here with part two of Mike Douglas's 1974 historic show that features Sly Stone pumping up Muhammad Ali for Ali's big, big, big comeback fight coming up against George Foreman in Zaire. Now, those of you who saw part one will attest, I'm sure, this is great stuff. In this half hour, however, we've got Ali dragging Senator Wayne Hayes into the fray and showing the world and Sly Stone exactly why half the country loved the champ and the other half was scared to death of the man. Here it is. Hope you'll enjoy it. But before we roll tape, um, to answer a letter from a young high school viewer in Coral Gables, Florida, uh, to your two questions. Number one, uh, yes, the character Apollo Creed was based on Ali. Number two, no, Sly Stone did not play Rocky. Okay, 1974, Nixon is gone, but Ali coming back.